Hello, Science Olympiad students. So, this is the start of a series of videos of me solving some of the problems that I found challenging on some of the topic tests. So let's just start right away. So, here we have problem three of topic test one. A wave has a period of five seconds and a wavelength of three meters. What is the wave speed? So, this problem is rather simple, actually. It just has a trick inside it. They gave you the period instead of the frequency. So if you're just starting out, you might make the mistake of multiplying the period with a wavelength. Do not do that. So the way to solve this problem is quite straightforward. First, we give you the wave equation, which is velocity is equal to frequency times the wavelength of the wave. So our velocity, we don't know, but we know our period which is this, and our wavelength, which is that. So if you recall from the lecture notes, frequency is equal to one over the period. And our period is five seconds. So we just have one over five as our frequency or 0 0.2 Hertz. So that would mean that our velocity is 0 0.2 Hertz times our wavelength, which is three meters. So three meters. That would get us 0 0.6 meters per second. Therefore, our answer is D. Okay. On to problem 10. So the question is asking, what is sine of 75 equal to out of all these answers? So basically what they're asking is express sine of 75 in terms of a radical. And if you remember from the lecture notes, you were supposed to memorize to, to the best of your ability, some trig identities. And what this is screaming right here is trig identities. So sine of 75, looks like you could use an angle additive identity. So sine of 75 is the equivalent of sine of 30 plus 45 degrees. So if you remember from the trig identities, sine of alpha plus beta, is equal to sine of alpha cosine beta plus sine of beta cosine alpha. So if you plug in 30 for alpha and beta 45 for beta, we get sine of 30 plus 45 is equal to sine of 30 times cosine of 45 plus sine of 45 times cosine of 30. So if you add that up, we get one half, which is equal to sine of 30 times square root of two over two from our cosine of 45 plus square root of two over two from our sine of 45 times square root of three over two from our cosine of 30. So now we would get square root of two over four plus square root of six over four, or the square root of two plus square root of six over four. That's our answer in terms of radical. That does indeed match up with one of these options, A. All right, we now have number 13. So we have a light that is shined from a flashlight that sits on top of a 30 foot flagpole. The light beam is angled down such that it hits the floor 30 feet from the base of the flagpole. So the question is, what is the angle that it's like, the, that the light beam is angled down? So this is a free response question. So you're not given free answers from the multiple choice. So how would we approach this? Well, we should probably try a, draw a diagram first. So let's say this is the flagpole. It stands 30 feet tall. And then let's say our flashlight is right here, shining a light beam down to the base 30 feet from the flagpole. So the angle we're talking about is theta because 
they say the light beam is angled such that it hits the floor 30 feet from the base. So they're talking about an angle from the vertical, although it doesn't really matter if it's the angle from the vertical or the horizontal, and you'll see why. So if you use your trig, we will find that this is the opposite to the angle, and this is adjacent to the angle. So if you use your Sokotoa, well, let's see, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, well, it looks like we have our opposite and we have our adjacent, so it looks like we have to use tangent. So that means that tangent of theta, this theta right here, is equal to 30 feet, which is down here, over 30 feet, which is right here. So that's equal to one. And then you can take the inverse tangent of both sides. So that would give theta on the left side, which would equal inverse tangent of one. That is equal to 45 degrees. That is the solution.